Hello and welcome to Quick Tips. In this video, I'm going to try to clone any website from the internet using Bolt.new AI tool. In previous videos, I've shown you how you can create a fully functional job board website as well as how you can create a single page portfolio website using the Bolt.new AI tool. If you want to watch those videos, I'll give you the link in the description box. In this video, I'm going to search for a website and we will see whether we can clone the exact website using Bolt.new AI tool. So let's go to Google and I'm going to search for a website on the Google and I'm going to pick up any random website and I'll try to clone the website. Now let's say I want to create a business directory website and I want people to register their business on my website and I can create packages to register the business or I can completely make it free and I can monetize it using Google Ads. So let's search for business directory website. Let's say business directory in USA and you will see different websites are there. Let's try this one. This one is bright local. And we have DNB, Manta. Right now, this is the, the bright local. I think this is more like the directory website, local SEO citation. So let's close it. This is business directory where different businesses are listed from New York, Houston, Chicago, Indianapolis, Boston, Atlanta. So this is a kind of website that I'm going to try to clone. You will see different categories are there. A restaurant, landscaping, construction, healthcare, HVAC. Then this is another website. All right, let's close this one. Let's go to this one, City Local Pro. This is also a business directory. We have different categories here. And this is the listing of some businesses. Browse by states about the website. This one also looks good with simple design. At the top, we have search option. This one also has the search option. All right, so let's try to clone this website. So I'm going to copy the URL of this website. This one looks good to me. Let's go to bolt.newai tool. And here I'm going to enter a prompt. Can you clone this website? This is a business directory. All right, so this is the prompt. Can you clone the website and the URL of the website? Let's add question mark there. This is a business directory website with different business categories and locations. I want to create similar website where business owners can list their business by logging into the website. Use the color blue, red and white. Add some sample listings on the website. At the bottom, you will see an option here, enhance prompt, click on it. We are going to use the AI to enhance this prompt. And now it is working on the prompt. All right, now let's Copy this prompt and let's see what is in the prompt. All right, so it says you are a web developer tasked with creating a business directory website similar to this URL comprehensive platform where business owner can register, log in and list their businesses. Then we have website requirements, core functionality, user registration and login system, business listing creation, search functionality, responsive design, design specification. Then we have colors for the design, essential pages, home page, business category, location based, user registration or login page, business owner dashboard. Then we have sample content requirement, create at least 20 sample business listings across these categories. And there are some categories listed. For each sample listing, include business name, description, contact information, business hours, sample reviews, business categories. Then we have technical specifications. All right, so the enhanced prompt looks good to me. Let's go back and we are going to use this prompt. So let's enter it, create the website. It is still thinking. It is still thinking. Here you will see it is in progress, installing dependencies. So I think it is going to take five to 10 minutes to create the first draft of the website. So I'm going to pause this video. All right, so the first draft of the website is ready. You will see the layout here. And the name of the website is now local biz. You will see different categories, location, about, contact, and login page are created. List your business button is also added. At the top, we have this search bar. Then we have some information, featured businesses, browse by category, ready to grow your business. All right, and there is a button. Now let's click on this option. It will open this demo website in new tab. All right, so this is how it will look. 
If I go to categories, all right, there are no categories, location, about. This is how the about us page will look. This is the contact page. And here we have login page. User will be able to log into the website and list their business. Click on list your business. And for that also, user will need to log into the website. So the login functionality is also created. Now we do not see any business added here and also there is no category added right so let's go back and here it shows there is one problem now the first thing is that we need to add a database to the website so that all the information will be stored in the database mold.new is going to use superbase as the database so we will need to create an account on superbase and add a database to the website now let's click on attempt to fix here it says to fully connect to superbase you need to click on connect to superbase button in the top right hand corner of the interface all right here you will see an option integration go to integration and you will see an option here superbase click on add a database so basically we will need to create an account on superbase and link our website to this superbase so i'm going to create a new account here all right so it is now connecting bold account with the superbase Right, let's click on create a new project let's name it as business directory and i'm going to add a password click on create a new project and click on apply changes it is now connected so i'm going to connect our website with the superbase and it is still working on it the database migration has been applied now let's say you will see featured businesses here now and browse by category categories are also created and this looks like a fully functional website let's open it in a new tab connect to project all right and it is fully functional website you will see some featured businesses are there featured listing this is a spa and wellness business if i click on it it should open a page for this business so these are the details of this particular business which is listed on the website. You will see contact information, address, customer reviews option is there, business hours, call now is going to dial that number, send an email, will send an email to the business. Let's go back. Let's try another one. This is for the law firm. And you will see the details of this law firm. Let's go back. Let's try this one. Seafood is nothing but a restaurant business. All right, let's go to categories and you will see some categories are created automotive beauty and wellness professional a restaurant and food under this we have four different businesses we'll go back to category let's try another category let's go to automotive and we have three businesses under this category if i click on it it will show the details of this business let's go to locations and we have these locations for the Chicago location, we have five businesses. For the Houston, we have five businesses. For Los Angeles, we have seven businesses. If I click on this category, you will see the businesses which are under this category. You will see the category listing here. Let's click on list your business. From here, I can create an account and list my business. Let's go back and ask the vote.new tool to add some sample users. So create one sample user, give me username and password to log in and add business. So it is now creating one sample user. And all the data will be stored in the database. Go to the registration page or register. And let's go to list your business. Enter the email address here. Let's try the same username. And use the same password. And click on create an account it is now creating an account click ok all right so it seems that the user dashboard page is not working properly so here i can go to bolt and all right so let's go back and fix the issue the user dashboard is not working fix the issue all right, so it says I need more information. What specific error are you seeing? Are you getting a blank page or error message? So let's say it's a blank page. 
All right, so it is working on it now. All right, let's go back. It has fixed the issue, so let's go back and refresh it. All right, it is working. You can see that I have an option to add a new business. If I click on it, I can add a new business. This is going to be the business name, description, phone number, email address. Let's try adding some information here. Select category, let's select professional services. One number, let's add one phone number here. Email address. Let's add some dummy address here. All right, and click on create business. All right, so it says your business listing is created. All right, let's go back to categories. We have it under professional service. Let's go to professional service. And here you will see the business. Click on it. And you will see the details of this business. So definitely the database is working properly. User will be able to create an account and submit their business on your website. So you can see that it is very easy to clone any website from the internet using the bolt.new AI tool. Once the website is ready, you can publish the website. You can click on publish and the website will be published on Bolt hosting services. And definitely you need to go for the hosting plan. If you want, you can also create packages and sell these packages to the business owners to list their business on your website. Or you can make it completely free and monetize your website using Google AdSense or any other advertising platform. So that's it for now. See you in the next video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comment section and press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching quick tips.